But right now, we're going to turn to another area of the world, to Zimbabwe. We're going to turn to Robert Mugabe, uh, who is in New York for the UN Millennium Summit, found a thundering show of support of more than 1,000 people at Harlem's Mount Olivet Baptist Church. Uh, Mugabe has been criticized uh, by some for his radical land reform plan that aims to take land away from defendants of descendants of British colonialists and give it to impoverished blacks in his country. Last night, he talked about what's happening in Zimbabwe, in Zimbabwe today. And I'm saying now, is that although independence had come, it had come to us only in political terms. Some other people continued and still continue to deprive us of our economic independence. The land we had hoped would come to us easily after the understanding we had reached in 1979 as we negotiated for independence with the British at Lancaster House. And they had agreed to fund the process of land acquisition and settlement we thought the land we thought would come still hasn't come. Those who had made the promise, then there was the government of Thatcher in Britain, and here you still had the Democrats in power under President Carter. Then they under the promise that America had also made that they would fund alongside Britain the land reform. Carter was defeated, and in came President Reagan. And President Reagan reneged on the, the undertaking by President Carter and said, no, he was not going to continue the aid program with the, which the Democrats had started. Then in Britain they also reneged and said they no longer had any money and this at the time of, of Thatcher but later we negotiated with the conservative government a new deal in 1996. But before that new deal saw the light of day, the conservative party was defeated. And in came Blair and his lot. And these said to us very clearly, very blatantly, they were not in a position to inherit colonial responsibility. What Labour had promised, what the Conservatives had promised, was a matter for the Conservatives. They were a Labour Party with its own policies. We said to them, we tried to reason with them, 
and said, but at international law, surely, if you are successor to a, a legitimate government of Britain, you don't only succeed to assets, you also succeed to liabilities. That is international law. And what were the promises and undertakings to us by the Conservative Party and Conservative government should certainly be respected by you. In broad daylight, they said they would not do that. They would not, therefore, fund the land reform program and pay compensation or help us to pay compensation for land to be acquired by our government for purposes of resettling our people. Then we say to us, we were deadlocked on this matter at Lancaster House for 10 days. The negotiations all together took three months from October to December 1979. If the principle we stood by and we affirmed in 1979 that when your ancestors seized our land, they did not pay compensation and so And so we did not have any duty or moral principle on the strength of which we could pay you compensation. That Zimbabwean President Robert Mugabe speaking last night at the Harlem Mount Olivet Baptist Church. We're going to go back to that speech in just a minute here on Pacifica Radio's Democracy Now! You're listening to Pacifica Radio's Democracy Now!, the exception to the rulers. I'm Amy Goodman with Juan Gonzalez as we continue with the speech of Zimbabwean President Robert Mugabe given last night in Harlem at the Mount Olivet Baptist Church. And so we did not have any duty or moral principle on the strength of which we could pay you compensation. That principle we shall revive and we will take the land. 